what's going on guys Brian here from that kid next door back in that video and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to go and get iOS 13 and show you guys how to go and pair your Xbox or PS4 controller to your phone to play any kind of game you want so guys today on this what we're gonna be doing is what you need to do is I'm gonna start my screen recording right now on my phone so you'll see it in three two one you should see it pop up now um and what you have to do is, I already have the link on here. It will be linked in the description. If you guys want to do this, go on your phone. The link will be in the description. So what you need is you need to click that uh, link. It will take you to this website <clears throat> for Apple. You scroll down, and then it says uh, sign up. I will click just click sign up. That's going to ask you for your Apple ID and your passcode. So I'm just going to type this in really quickly. I'm just going to blur this out of the video. Let me just, I'll cut this all out, and yeah. Uh, Alright guys, so what it's going to do is going to ask for an Apple ID verification code, so just remember that in your head. Uh, so I'm just going to do, okay, 958755. So it's going to be 958755, and then you continue that. So what it does is then it sends you to here. All right, guys. So then once you guys get to here, what you need to do is you scroll down and you see what the link says. Enroll your iOS device. You click on that link. It sends you to another one. So then you want you to archive a backup. Make sure you guys have a backup set up either today or yesterday. If you guys do not have a backup set, make sure to do one right now before going on to the next step. <clears throat> if you guys are done, go down to the bottom. Click download profile. And then it's going to say, and then you have to click websites trying to download a configuration profile. Do you want to allow this? And we have to click allow. I'm going to click ignore because I already have it downloaded. So what you need to do is there, click allow. And then you can just close out that tab right here. And just close that out. And then what you need to do is go to settings. And then right under your, I, uh, right under your uh, Apple ID, that name, it should say downloaded profile. So what you do there is you need to click that. And then once you do that, you need to go and do all the steps it tells you to, to go in and download that installer to get iOS 13. Alright, so to pause the video right here, it will take a while for it to download. You have to go, after you do all the allow stuff, you go to general, go to software update, it will, and it will pop up right there. And then what you need to do is just click install and download. Once that's done, mine already says iOS 13 is up to date. I just close out of that, and this is how, where we're going to be going in and pairing our Xbox controller with our iPhone. This is pretty sick. Let's go straight into it. So what you need to do, guys, is also go back in the settings when it's all done. And then you have to go to Bluetooth, and as you can see here, there's no devices enabled Xbox controller wireless down below. Right. So what you need to do here, guys, is on my screen you can see, but what you need to do is you need to hold down this pair button up here and the Xbox controller thing right here at the same time so as you can see I'm gonna hold these down at the same time and as you can see uh, okay, so as you can see if you look down there it is Xbox wireless controller has popped up on here and now it is connected with my controller if this is out and we're going into some Fortnite and I'm gonna be testing this out with you guys I'm gonna stop this recording and then we're gonna go in and guys, this is going to be the Fortnite recording, so I'm just going to set this all up here. Three, two, one. Alright, it's set up. And as you guys can see on the screen, it is logging in. Everything is doing good. And let's see if we can do this right. I want to see if this works. We need to wait to log in. It's going to take a while. And we are in, boys. Alright, so let's test this out. B, as you guys can see, I'm going to use this. LB. RB. A. As you guys can see here, click B to exit out. Now I'm going to click LB. You guys can go try this out yourself. It's actually pretty sick. L LT, really bounce. Anyway, guys, this works for almost every game on iOS that's really going to use it. If you guys really, and has controller support, if you guys really enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel for more like this in the future.
you can use this with also PS4 remote, same thing, just hold down the power button and the pair button and it will pop up in your settings. Hope you guys really enjoyed this video, if you did, make sure to go and subscribe to my channel, like I said before, and maybe to make sure, if you already are subscribed, to like the video and turn on notifications to get notifications for new videos whenever it comes out. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time, goodbye.